In a made-for-TV movie, Prayers for Bobby, actress Sigourney Weaver plays Mary Griffith, Bobby's mother. It is based on a true story of a close-knit and religious family that's shattered after Bobby reveals he's gay. When Mary's son committed suicide, her life changed in a profound way. The Lifetime film just out on DVD now, and we're happy to have Sigourney Weaver with us in the studio to tell us why it's a must-see. Good morning. It's great to Good see morning. you. Good morning. How are morning. you? So we should point out, this story happened. He, he died by suicide back in 1983. Mm -hmm. But when you look at everything that's happening these days, that, that yeah. young uh, fellow who jumped off the George Washington Bridge, mm -hmm. the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, it's so incredibly relevant. It really days. is. It really is, which was one of the reasons we all wanted to make this uh, make this story. Uh, it is a true story about the Griffith family, and it is um, Prayers for Bobby, written by his mother Mary, is one of the books, maybe the main book, that kids give their families when they want to start that conversation mm -hmm. about the fact that they're gay. And um, we felt, gosh, this should be a movie. It's a much, I don't know, it's a much more direct way of sharing, beginning this conversation. And uh, so I felt very, very privileged to be part of this. And I think that, you know, we did a wonderful job. It's, it's uh, you know, the cast is so good and, uh, and uh, it's very accurate about Mary's journey. And was it difficult to play Mary at first? I mean, she doesn't come off as the best character in the beginning because she's, you know, you, she has a son who's crying out mm -hmm. for acceptance or unconditional love and she just can't bring it, uh, she can't yeah. bring it, find it in herself to just bring it out there until tragedy strikes. It's true. You know, I, I had the opportunity to spend a day with Mary and the Griffith family. Um, Bobby's things are everywhere in the house. And she was so generous and frank about who she was then. She was so frightened and so ignorant and felt that he was making a kind of, you know, social lifestyle choice. choice right. Lifestyle choice. And uh, they were so incredibly close and she was so frightened for him and it took the shock I think of losing him to send her to PFLAG which is an organization mm -hmm. where families and, and uh, lesbian, gay and bisexual youth can reach out and get some support to start this conversation with their families. The rate of suicide for uh, young people who are lesbian, gay and bisexual in non-accepting families is eight times. Yeah what a normal suicide rate is for uh, youth. You know, we were talking about this. Let, let's see a little bit of a very powerful scene where, where Bobby comes to mom. Again, mom, very deeply religious and has the conversation and she won't allow, because of her religion, her mind to open up to this prospect. So let's have a look. It's Wrong. not me. It's the Bible. It's not the Bible. It's you. Why can't you admit that? Why can't you admit that you can't stand what I am? what you've become what I am I'm sorry I'm not the perfect little Bobby you always wanted but I can't keep apologizing for it mom accept me as I am or forget it I won't have a gay son then mom you don't have a son you know it's so powerful and, and it's it's so relevant I, a, f a friend of mine go remain nameless exactly the same situation very religious mother mm -hmm. she's a lesbian mom is just trying to destroy her mm -hmm. and it's just it's you know people who are lesbian or gay or bisexual transgendered they face so many problems every day from mm -hmm. discrimination but when a parent is not accepting it's just devastating to them i think for me the revelation of meeting mary and talking to her um i really met her as a mother and parents do want to protect their children from any kind of path that's going to be difficult or unconventional. It's something that we all share. So really, all parents need to stay open, listen to their children, and respect their choices and who they are. I mean, so moving to me to hear Mary talk about how she realized later on, looking at his baby pictures, God had wanted him to be gay. That was what he, that was part of the package. That was part of why he, he was so wonderful and she loved him so much. And so it's, it's an education. We need to get, get this education out into our country and PFLAG and the Trevor Project, which also reaches out to, you know, LGBT um, youth is, they are, I think, amazing organizations and really are there to help kids know this is normal, natural. They are not alone. And for parents struggling with this, you know, God, what Mary came to is that God loves unconditionally. Mm.
and loves people for everything they are, not just one way, you know. And you're, you're clearly so passionate about this, um, and you're getting choked up even talking about speaking for Mary, and, and it is heartbreaking that this is how she has come to that realization. What yeah. um, made you so involved and, and wanting to get this message out about acceptance of gay youth? You know, I've had the great fortune in my life of knowing, loving, and working with so many uh, lesbian, gay, and uh, you know, bisexual and transgender people, and I can't even imagine my world without them. And the one of the reasons that is so is that we have so many young people coming to New York, where there is freedom and there is acceptance and there's celebration. And so I guess I feel like I've had that incredible advantage. And to hear Mary just, they, the family wanted other families not to make the same mistakes they did. They loved Bobby. They adored Bobby. They just couldn't, within the time they had, open their minds. And they want to make sure families, other families, don't follow in their footsteps. It's just so tragic that there's all that love there, and yet like, they can't make the leap. Yeah. And then they lose the child. because. Of and there could be no greater loss. Does Mary believe that if she accepted Bobby that he would be alive today? I think so. Hmm. I think so. And I think that she... But I think the main thing for her is that she her part of her journey was to become an example to become a spokesperson for PFLAG and help other families I mean the fact when Mary speaks to people who are religious and says this was that's not what God wants you know she opens doors that someone like me can't open you know, yeah. you know the, we start off by talking about don't ask don't tell here of course, that will be implemented over the next few months as the Pentagon puts the process underway. What kind of an impact do you think that's going to have? Will it make things better or could it make things worse? You know, I think for better or worse that gay and lesbian people are on the front lines of our, you know, our mm -hmm. civil action these days. And I respect them so much for having to, to be on the front lines. And I think this is something that should never have been put in place. It's high time for it to be repealed and I think that um, it's it's such a step forward I think it's you know we're gonna see how it how it all uh, works out but I think it's you know I'm celebrate that this mm -hmm. has finally happened you know it's quite an example of how a big of a voice the gay and lesbian community has got uh, lately because this might not have even made it to the floor of the Senate and now it's it's been repealed well it's the only practical way to go about this you know and and um, I'm glad that that people have finally seen that well prayers for Bobby a very very powerful film and thanks for coming in to cool. talk to us about it thank you for having me it's great to letting see us you. talk about it get the word out Absolutely. great to see you.